rehabilitation of Portacot refinery will start January 2020. And reports now on top the touch lighting of illegal security activities for Lagos Port. Don't scatter, see it. And Lagos Commissioner of Police don't order the touch lighting for the death of one U.S. attorney. And people now with the vex don't kill one policeman and set church on fire for inside on those things. Good afternoon and welcome to Wazobia Max TV. This is now as it take happen. My name now Adjati Hongkwe. On top of the first story where we carry come, Minister of State for Petroleum, that's Natimi Pire Silva, he talks to the Portacourt refinery where he said they want to bring back now. Say he go start for January 2020. In the tell state house to read people after the Federal Executive Council meeting, say the ministry now they expect say they go pass the petroleum industry bill enter law by June next year. Still on top of the matter, maybe we hear what in them talk. We reported to ESCO that we've achieved at least one of those mandate areas, which is the passage of the Deep Offshore Amendment Act. Uh, we also reported that work is ongoing on the PIB and that hopefully the PIB will be passed into law by June next year. Uh, we also reported that next year we will open the gas sector and a lot will happen in the gas sector in Nigeria. Uh, rehabilitation of Portaco refinery will commence in January and hopefully 2020 will be a very busy year for the oil industry and Nigeria, in Nigeria. After Nim Yang finished, the Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, why be say Yang give the council now about her first 100 days for inside her ministry? She talks a government now being released 1.2 trillion naira for the capital project inside the year where be say just end, where be say the end, where be say now 50% performance for capital inside 2019. She say government now still release everything where be say they need for personal expenses and money to take pay debt as long-term development a long-term development plan, they progress. She still can say her ministry now get 11 mandate area where we say the passage of 2020 budget na major goal it be. Still on top of the talk, she talks that the revenue performance rise to third quarter of 2019 and now 4.25 trillion naira where we say na 81% performance. Revenue performance. The revenue performance to prorated to third quarter of 2019 is 4.25 trillion, and that represents a performance of 81%. That is to third quarter, so it's nine months prorated, not full year. The GDP growth uh, that we planned for 2019 was 3.5%, and the, la the third quarter GDP performance, you all know, was reported as 2.28%. On expenditure, we have been able to release uh, all that is required for personal, so personal expenditure is on course. Uh, debt service is also on course. <coughs> on overheads, we have been able to release eight months overhead for general MDAs and 11 months overhead for some MDAs that we classify as critical. And this includes the security services, the federal government uh, uh, Unity Colleges, as well as NYSC and prison rations. So a few agencies that will classify as critical have received 11 months, and we're working on the 12th month uh, overhead release for, for this category of MDs. So far, as at last week, we have released up to 1.2 trillion in capital expenditure, and that is a 50% performance of the capital for the whole year 2019. After she and finished, Minister of Transportation wrote me Amechi talks eight new coaches and two locomotives nine then go add to the Abuja Kaduna Rail Corridor for January. Him still talks the Abute Meta Ibadan Railroad go start to work now as they put efforts to reach the Lagos port by April next year. Him say they don't brief Federal Executive Council on top of the equipment then where be said and buy for maritime safety. Then that 
uh, uh, we'll be bringing, bringing in a DMU, which is a diesel engine, for, for Abuja Kaduna. It will be eight coaches and two locomotives that will drive it. And it will reduce the pressure we have in Abuja Kaduna. Abuja Kaduna will reduce the pressure. We also reported that uh, we'll be ready to commission, we'll be ready to commission uh, ETAP worry. She'll be ready for commissioning between January and April, depending on when the president is available to commission it. We also reported that we believe that Lagos to Ibadan should be able to be commissioned by before April, if the president's program will permit him before April. You know, we've commenced a uh, trial run on uh, Iba Lagos to Ibadan. The last time before tomorrow, we were running from Iju to Ibadan. By tomorrow, we will start running from Agege to Ibadan. By the time we come back from holidays, we'll start running from Ebute Meta to Ibadan. We believe that before April, we should have gotten to the seaport. That will reduce the what you call a papa grid log. For inside the next story, as in Matabi on Wednesday, Senate has been divided. Sake of the report now of their committee, of their joint committee on top Navy, Marine Transport and Finance. As it concerns the touch lighting of illegal security activities, where private security organizations they do. The chairman of the joint committee, that's now George Sekibo, Ibinyan say make them allow Ocean Marine Solutions Limited to continue their operation for the safe anchorage area inside the Lagos port until when BC government go put better system for ground. Senator Sekibo and say time don't reach now to pump enough money inside the Navy where BC go help to buy vessels to clear more than 150 vessels. And with this one, they no go put mind now for private maritime logistics support companies. Consultations, analysis of, of presentation and submission, as well as relying on the approved findings, the Joint Committee recommends the following. One, that the Nigeria Navy, the Nigeria Post Authority, and the NIMASA should be commended for initiating and implementing the process that led to the provision of enhanced and advanced maritime security in the secured anchorage area, SAA in the Lagos waters in 2013 that has led in checkmating the high, high rate of attacks on vessels waiting to bed at Lagos ports. Two, that Ocean Marine Solution Limited should be commended for each genuine national interest in investing over $400 million into the security at the secure anchorage area in particular, and in Nigerian waterways in general, by providing the needed platforms and logistics for the Nigerian Navy to effectively perform 24 7 365 patrol uh, operations, as well as to provide the required protection for vessels waiting to bed at the Lagos port. After in Yam finish, one committee member, Senator Ahmed Baba Keita, why be say complain now, say them no solve the matter well at all at all, also talk, say the reports now not really show, say carry the interest of Nigerians for mind. Eloquently explain what the allegations are, vis-a-vis -vis his answers and solution to that problem. So I think this report is way too lopsided, one-sided, because the facts are not presented well. We cannot mortgage our security in the hands of some ad hoc arrangement. The government wants to take charge of the responsibility of uh, the responsibility of the security. We shouldn't take the interests of anybody against the interests of Nigeria. And this is this report. I believe is not. Uh, I am not comfortable with it. And I think. We should visit or review this uh, this uh, this vis-a-vis. -vis, uh, if it means calling them, I'm not saying that what they did was right completely, like I said earlier on. But what I'm saying is that this report is lopsided and it will not help the economy of this country. Thank you. Still on top of the matter, Senator Solomon Olamile talks in Navy alone no get the muscle to guide and protect Nigeria airways, waterways. Sir, out of these three vessels, only one is working. The MPA informed the committee. And Navy is saying they are in shortage of over 150 vessels. It is recorded, it is in the testimony.
testimony, it is in the document given to us. And the solution we have now is this private investor, who is a, an indigenous company in Nigeria, who has gone to borrow money to finance this uh, boat. And he's saying, Nimasa MD told us that to rent a vessel is $10,500 a day. As Enyam finished on top of the matter, Senate President Ahmed Lawa could agree with waiting Senator Olami Leko talk. As him say they very shameful now say Nigeria they rely on top private organizations to secure waterways for inside the country. Deficit to enable them carry out their constitutional responsibilities without over depending on private maritime logistics support companies, PMLSC. Those in favor of recommendation four say aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it. I think um, we have a challenge here. The challenge is if we don't like what this company is doing, we should bring our own. Until we are able to do that, I think we, we have to continue with the present arrangement. And we come out from that to re enter the next one. Still for Inside Senate, Senate don't confirm the appointment of Mohammed Nami as Executive Chairman of Federal Inland Revenue Service. The confirmation now, on Wednesday, still they follow the consideration of the report of the Senate Committee on Top Finance, where Senator Solomon Adiola the lead. President Mama Dubari don't be writing letter gave Senate last week to confirm the appointment of NAMI and 30 others and 13 others as chairman and members of the FIRS board. Senate also confirmed the new chairman of Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria. And this confirmation see they follow the consideration of the report of the committee on top banking and other financial institutions where we say the chairman Ubasani Karikom. We shall probably come out from inside that one, enter another Tory, where we say no sweet for Bele at all. Reports here and say Senator where they represent Imo North Senatorial District, that's now Benjamin Wajimogu, don't die. Then confirm the death of the Senator, give to we people outside the Senate chamber on Wednesday. Then talk say him fall inside toilet when he be in the bath. And the Konshapali rush and go for one private hospital for a pool inside Abuja, where the doctor can confirm say he don't die. He died at the age of 51 years. And we come out from that, so we enter another one. Supreme Court now on Wednesday don't confirm the election of Sheyi Makinde as governor of Oyo State. On top of this one, where B.C. now all the judges will sit down for the matter, agree for the judgment. Supreme Court talks say the appeal where Makinde bring come the come the highest court, get merit, and majority judgment of the appeal court. Na miscarriage of justice. The court come talk say majority judgment of tribunal where it be say it been give judgment where favor she marking the as Obunge governor where the people choose they cajadly correct. Now go remember say appeal court don't be rule against the election tribunal judgment inside of your state where been dismissed one petition where APC and their candidate Adebayo Adelabu been carry come. And still for inside another Tory we resemble that one. Supreme Court now on Wednesday tell Governor Abdullah Hisule of Nasarawa State to make him carry Gosena and him win the 2019 governorship election inside the state. The seven-man panel of Supreme Court where B. Sena Justice Mary Peter or the lead, lead dismissed the appeal with David Ombugadu and the PDP being carried home where they challenge Sule Abdullah win for the March 9, 2019 election. And still on top court matter, as a matter be River State High Court, now where BC is done for inside Porta Court, on Wednesday, they don't strike one interim injunction where BC Ibrahim Umar and 22 other people been obtained to stop APC for River State to make them no follow the words, local government and state congress where BC them been fixed for September 2019. Ibrahim and other people been approached court. Come talk to make them enforce the ruling of the state high court where BC them deliver for October 10th, 2018. We not allow the state APC to organize their congress. But the court now where BC now justice G.O. Olo nine lead for the judgment. He keep the entire injunction where Ibrahim and others bring for September 14, 2019 for one corner. Justice Olo talks say the court no get the power now to interpret or force judgment with court where be seen at the same level. And so nine keep the interim order one side. Court strike out the originating summons now where be say Ibrahim and 22 other people bring come. 
can award 100,000 Naira in favor of APC. We get Emmanuel Owunka from Port Harcourt to really give us the full story about this court matter. Hi, Emmanuel. Hello. Okay, make it sharply tell us where you did and are waiting to happen for court there inside Port Harcourt. Okay, um, with this court judgment, we don't come outside. Um, we expect to reach out to everybody in day for APC for River State, all these top um, executives for APC for inside River State on this very matter. We don't reach out to some and some others, they still reach out to them to ensure say, they comment on this very matter. But um, some of them, their response is predictable, but as correct media house will be, we know go fit um, talk them, except say, they tell us by themselves. But so far, so good. The chairman for inside APC Ketika Committee for inside River State will be Isaac Obogula. Don't talk, say, this judgment when the court gives so say, that democracy in action. Now, tell it, they tell the words to us. Mr. Obogula, tell us, say, the decision when this, um, when this court, the, this matter when this court don't talk so, say the decision still rests upon the APC for the national level to decide whether this Congress, whether this Congress go hold on so so, so time or the other time when it go hold. Now then go feel reschedule the Congress when take when this court they talk about. But person when they for before when the former spokesperson of APC for River State don't talk say this will not be something when they will just celebrate yet. Because of say many other issues there for APC for River State when they say they never still tackle finish. But in the praise this justice now uh, for the way we intend handle this matter so far. Okay, thank you very much, Emmanuel Onka from Port Harcourt. That's now our Tory person for inside Port Harcourt. Make we sharply move enter inside the next story where we carry come today. For inside another Tory, World Bank now under their regional disease and surveillance system as the matter be for disease enhancement project. They don't hand over waiting to help transport. They very easy now. On top of the state animal health disease surveillance and response project. As a matter be the Yansi now 18 motorcycle them and 75 Okada and the okay 175 keke name they hand over to people. We benefit on top of this one. And they go use them now take response sharply to anywhere where we say disease break for inside 36 states of the country, plus including the FCT. As a matter be was over Max TV to person John Emmanuel, he gets more reports for this one. Ebola for 2014 to 2015, and the Kankasala Wadi team calls World Bank confined and very important to create this project when they call Regional Disease and Surveillance System Enhancement Redis. The essence of this Redis now to control the rate where we say human beings they contact diseases from animals where in chop or they train. To achieve this program, World Bank can begin to distribute these vehicles to all the 36 states, including FCT, make them use and track any outbreak of disease for animals before it goes spread into human beings. I participated in the Ebola on ground in Sierra Leone and Liberia. I survived and I came back. There were so many rumors that some of us were dead, but I came back. And that reinforces the importance of surveillance. Anybody that witnessed what happened on Ebola, you will appreciate what surveillance should do. And this project in particular has tried to reinforce the principle of surveillance by the One Health principle. You know, when a disease comes, they will say it's from animal, they will say from this. So we don't want that argument. But the human and the animal health should work together. So when so there is anything, we don't have to blame any sector. So I'm very happy that Nigeria is participating on this program. And this program is a, something that are waking up. What is surveillance? It's about preparedness and what? Response. We live lives without preparedness. We do life without surveillance or without being vigilant. And that is why we have issues. And it's worse for the third world because our health systems are very weak and when something comes no matter how little do you know even diarrhea can derail the health sector because we are not prepared and because we don't even know and it is always even a shame that a disease can occur for six months without anybody knowing what it is there was a year in this country 
There was cholera, I think, one of the northern states. For six months, nobody could say that it was cholera. But with this disease uh, kind of modeling, surveillance system, I believe we are going to get very far. You will agree with me that outbreak of major diseases, especially those that affect both animals and humans, the agricultural sector is almost always at the receiving end as agricultural productivity goes down in the rural farming communities. In order to address this situation, the Federal Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, within the limitation of uh, available resources, has always given the highest attention to activities of animal disease prevention and control, particularly in the rural setting where the burden of diseases that have the potential to spill over from animal species to human are very high. I must reiterate that if we are to make any meaningful progress in veterinary and public health service, we must first tackle the threat posed by these emerging zoonotic diseases. Many of you would be familiar with the Renise project, but just to say that this is an incredible opportunity for the country. Um, the MC just referred to 93 Days. 93 Days is a film that captures some of what happened during the Ebola outbreak. But the Ebola outbreak really demonstrated to us the need to work together across both animal and human sectors. And we've been doing that already. Uh, but doing that with a lot of difficulty because of the limited resources that we have at our disposal. So this project really gives us an opportunity to bring this work uh, together and work forward uh, to protect the health of our, our people. Since the launch of the project in 2018, we've been working closely with our colleagues in the animal health sector to implement various health system strengthening activities, both during preparedness and during response. Today, the purchase and distribution of these vehicles it's a testament to the uh, development and maturity of our work together. We recognize the importance of providing the right tools for people to work effectively. Vehicle, the vehicle being provided today will save the states to ensure early warning detection and response. This is not to make sure say waiting cause Ebola no happen again. The Kekena pep and the machines where they are among the means of transportation where them provide so not to enable workers fit penetrate every lungus when they get motor road for villages where we say most of the people where they live there depend on bush meats. This project they cut across West African countries and one of the major things where they want to use them achieve now strong collab among these countries for disease surveillance and sharp sharp response so that the Ebola experience no go happen again. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. And for inside another Tori, Commissioner of Police now will be Hakim Odumosu for inside the Lagos State. He don't give out order now for the torch lighting of the death of the United States, of the death of a returnee from the United States of America, where they call Mutu Agbosasa, where he say die for inside the Korodu area of the state on Sunday. We hear say Agbosasa now where he say they come back. We don't come back for inside the country early this year after you don't spend like 45 years for inside the U.S. Some people now where say they carry gun, Congo kill them as they return from Island Club. This government now we say they attack the victim as in God being the open gate for them to drive, enter inside in compound. Now they call attack and come cut the body like meat into pieces before they come burn them inside in car. The police talk person of the state, Balai Kana, on Wednesday inside talk paper talk say, Odumosu don't give order, say make them sharply start serious touch lighting on top of the matter. And for inside that, there are another story where one resembles that one small. Youths now will be said in the vex, don't kill one policeman, and don't set one house, one miracle center inside a career on fire. As the matter be, then talk say then kidnap one year old boy will be gold color only since one month now. And still on top of the matter, the youth will be say show face for the church headquarters for inside a Kure town. Don't burn six houses and five motor them. Reports still talk say them shoot three people and many other people can't get injury. Security people no waste time at all at all as they run come out for there because of their life. Made the youth too for no attack them. The youth also attack some journalists them, even damage the motor where they carry come. 
and as it take happen, the youth still they vex. Say the leadership of the church still they organize service on even when small picking laws for inside the church. The general overseer of the church, that na prophet, Afar Babatunde, he don't spend more than eight days now with DSS people. Sick of the petition where he be say the parents of the missing picking, that na Mr. and Mrs. Temitokwe being right against the prophet. Them accuse the state command, the police state command now, say them they slow on top of the matter. And as the matter be, they toss the people where be say they get interest on top of the matter, including politicians them. Don't they make move to sweep this matter under carpet? The talk person of the command, Femi Joseph, on top the talk paper, talk say, as the story be, say, no be true at all at all. Can they blame one popular TV station? Say, now them, now they form all this story. When they come back with sports and business story, no go anywhere. <music> For inside business, the Federation Account Allocation Committee on Wednesday talks that they allocate 635.82 billion naira to the three parts of government as revenue for inside in November. The allocation now 66.23 billion naira, where BCA reduced as them put them side by side with 702.05 billion naira, where BCA the committee now share for inside October. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Finance, Mahmoud Isadusi, now he confirmed the distribution as them here now with story people on top of the outcome of the committee meeting. Isadusi talks say for that period, the statutory revenue where BC them generate now 491.87 billion naira, white tax and foreign exchange equalization revenue now 53 billion naira. Him say the revenue from exchange gain now 785 million naira during the period. The permanent second now puts the balance inside the excess crude account for $324.96 million. That's not the business story. Maybe check within day for sports. <music> for inside sports, the Nigeria Football Federation don't plan the budget of 7.5 billion naira for the activities inside 2020. Now the Congress of the NFL for inside the 75th Annual General Assembly now approved this one now as them do meeting for inside Benin City for Edo State on Tuesday, 17th December. Then Yan said the money now supposed to cover financial consideration of World Cup and Nation Cup qualifiers for the Super Eagles and operating costs of NFF Secretariat. Now all the Tori them be this as it take happen, but before we go, maybe we still look all our top Tori them again for this afternoon. Rehabilitation of Port Harcourt Refinery will start for January 2020. And reports now on top the touch lighting of illegal security activities for Lagos Port don't scatter ceilings. Lagos Commissioner of Police don't order the touch lighting for the death of one U.S. returnee. And people now with a vest don't kill one policeman, come set church on fire from inside on those days. Now all the Tory them with this as it take happen, and we still go for one Korea Max TV. My name now Adati. To enjoy more of this, our Ugon get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.